Have you ever tried to do a presentation thinking it's going to be perfect and on the day you make a mistake and you think, oh, I should have done better. And for days after, you think about that mistake over and over again, leaving yourself feeling bad. Well, in that case, you might be a perfectionist. Perfectionists are those who strive for high, unattainable standards and are harshly self-critical. I'm interested in a perfectionist thought patterns. Having lots of thought patterns about the need to be perfect has said to lead to anxiety, depression and negative forms of coping. And for young athletes, it's said to lead to burnout. Robert Enka was an international footballer who suffered from anxiety and depression. And it was evident that from a young age, he experienced thoughts about the need to attain perfection. He had this way of thinking, if I'm not the best, I must be the worst. Why can't I be perfect? But from the outside, he would have no way of knowing. He always presented in a good mood and never to be thrown off track, like this little happy sheep. However, inside he had this internal turmoil. Sadly, Robert Enker committed suicide. My project to examine the impact of these thoughts on psychological distress in young footballers. Football is the number one choice of career for young footballers in the UK. But football is a harsh environment where actually perfection might be encouraged. So for 12 years old, young people can be cut from professional football teams. They might be recruited as young as eight. A study with 15 to 18 year olds who were cut from a football team, 55% of them suffered from anxiety and depression. So if you think about that, it's you, the person beside you, suffering from symptoms, anxiety, depression. And those young boys also turned to alcohol and drugs to try and cope. You may think, well, obviously they were dropped, but once you make it as professional, everything will be fine, we're making lots of money, of course it's going to be all good. However, another study with professional footballers showed that 36% of them, so over one in three, suffered from anxiety and depression. Also issues with alcohol and drugs too. So my study will hopefully help young people have a better experience of sport, have better psychological well-being, and hopefully reduce cases like Robert Enka. Thank you very much.